Hey, this is Jeff at Governors again. Another Iron 101. Newell posts versus fence posts. Depends on who you ask. Around here, fence posts are anything you can bolt fence to and make it stand up. Right. So it's generally made something like this, whether it's with new, new metal or old metal. A thinner piece of metal, some sort of a finial. It's generally set 18 inches in the ground. You can either concrete it or not, depending on the kind of post. This is a really old one with a cast iron finial. And this would have come off a piece of fence probably than we have here somewhere. This one's made out of solid wrought iron stock, much heavier, will last a lot longer, also the kind of thing you mount in the ground. But these are basically just your average everyday fence posts. Newell posts, we have hundreds and hundreds of them. Most people don't have that many, but again, we've been salvaging for a really long time. And the Newell posts were the fancy fence posts. I get one of these down because they're lighter. Some of them are extraordinarily heavy. Most of them are cast iron. Right? And you attach your fence to them. Here's another good example. Most of them are made of cast iron. They require quite a bit of fabrication. So just buying a post is not where the story ends. You have to actually fabricate the sleeve that goes in the ground, how it attaches, um, the type of finial that goes on it, where fence, a regular old fence post is pretty straightforward, pretty inexpensive. These can get fairly pricey, but they're also super cool. So. You can dress up, around here we call it putting lipstick on a pig. You can dress up just about anything, including wrought iron with some really cool posts and uh, nice videos. But most of your newel posts, again, are cast iron, hard to weld, more difficult to work with, beautiful, but more difficult. Our actual fence posts are generally wrought iron, and they'll take a little bit more of a beating, you can bend them, and they're a little more malleable, and a lot less expensive. Iron 101, stay tuned.